Read the question instruction, please. We call two numbers related to flip prime if the GCF is one. How do we get the? Do you know how to uh get the GCF? Yeah. Uh, so if the GCF is one, it means a relative related prime. prime. Okay, get start, please. Choose the numbers below that are relatively prime to three. Definitely dot three. Uh huh. Uh, we just need to make sure which of the words do not have three in yeah. the factors. Yeah. This yes. one does. This one does it. Uh huh. And this one does. Uh huh. So Keep going. Good. Good job. I think you understand it. So define. So define. So make sure that they don't have five and seven. Five and seven. Okay. This one has five. This one has seven. This one also has seven. Uh huh. Good job. Good job. Yes. Have positive integers less than twenty one. We make sure they don't have three and seven. Uh, let me see. Uh, are related from to twenty one. So we don't. We cannot have the three and the seven. Yeah. So just list the number less than twenty one. Say. One, two, there's mm. four, five. It's one, okay. Six, and then eight. Mm. Wait a second. Not six. Then ten, eleven. Twelve is not okay. So T should be good. Yes, yeah, so T is good. And fourteen no. No, fifteen also no. Uh -huh. Sixteen. Good. Seventeen. Uh -huh. Eighteen not. Twenty. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh -huh. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Oh yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's your turn. Good. What is the smallest number greater than one that is relatively prime to 70? Oh, wow. We just need to find... Let me see. We just need to find 7 prime factor. So uh -huh. we know that 3 is the smallest number greater than Yes, one. yes, I think so. Good. How many integers between 40 and 60 are relatively prime to both 40 and 60s? Oh, let's see. 2, two 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Six, 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 I think 61 works. Uh, so 61 is okay, it's an option. No, uh, six, no, 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 so, so, sorry. 41. The, yeah. How many integers between? Oh, yeah. So we use, we should start from, no, let's do it. Oh, yeah. So, so first we try the 41. 41 is okay. Yeah. 42, 42 is it okay? No. No. So first you see, I, so every even number doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. So forty one and uh, then we try forty three. And, and every number that ends, in, oh, and every number that ends in five four zero also does it work. Yeah, yeah, yes. So forty three is good or not? Good. Forty five we no. don't need that. Forty seven. Uh, forty seven. I don't think it's good. It's it should be good. What about three? Three. This is cannot develop by three. Yes, it can. 40 cannot. Uh, Seven, Cannot. Three. Oh yeah. 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 Forty nine. Forty nine is good or not? Seems good. Seems good. Yeah. Uh, fifty one. No. No. Do you know fifty one can divide by three? Do you know the reason? Because yeah. five plus one equal to six. Six. Fifty. Fifty three. Fifty three. 55 is not good. 56 is good. 50... what? 53 is good. Yeah. 55 is not good. Yeah. 57? No. Why? It can be... it adds stuff to be 12. 12 is divisible by 3. Mm. So... 59. Then, it's good. So how many number One, we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm -hmm. Yes. GCF. GCF. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, what? Yes, sir. I think this is also one. Yes, sir. Uh, I think this is also one. Do you find the rules? 
<laughs> oh yes, if it, they are together, that they the are consecutive one. number that is one. one. Okay, I think that we use this uh, rules. If n is a positive integer, what is the value of GCF? One. Mm, yes. For so we later find positive numbers a and b with LCM a equal b. Both numbers are greater than one. What is a plus b? Mm hmm. Relative. What means relative? It means the both one. The about I mean the GCF is what? GCF is one. Yeah. LCM is thirty six. Thirty six. Both numbers are greater than one. Yeah. So what? So you can get a times b. Is it correct? Oh yeah, a times b equals thirty six. Okay, a times b equal to thirty six. Yeah. So actually, you need to uh, find the two numbers. The times is thirty six, and but the has the uh relative prime. Do you understand? Yeah. So you do you need a uh, do you do do you try the we just tried the uh, factor pairs so you can say one thirty six two eighteen do you remember yeah so one thirty six is not good because it is greater than one yeah so two is not good two eighteen is not good because the common factor uh the G F is two yeah and then three twelve not good yeah. And then four nine yeah. six six. Yeah. But they are different number, so six six is not good. Yeah. So what's the what's four the answer? Nine. Yes. Thirteen. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to take prime integers A and B is two thousand. Mm -hmm. Both numbers are greater than one. And A is greater than B. What is the smallest possible value of a minus b? What means the uh, smallest uh, possible? So it means a and b should be very close. Yeah, to make them as small as possible. So both not well. So I think this to be 1,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,